So we talk now a lot about membranes and you mentioned membrane technology a lot. So um, maybe for the audience, it's nice to know what is a membrane and how it looks like. So I have a small example here. So I hope you can see it all. So this is what we have here is a membrane hollow fiber. So it's a complete bundle. See, it's nice yellow. And these are very small, fine straws. In the middle, they are hollow. And on the outside is a very dense or small, dense skin. And that makes the actual separation. Now with such a fiber, of course, you cannot separate anything. You need a module. Let me show you. This is one of our smallest module we sell in the market. This is a small nitrogen module, a two inch module. And uh, with this, you separate the gas. So in principle, when you have now, for example, a nitrogen generating process, you have a pressurized air stream coming in at the feed side. And then the small gases, and I talk now about the kinetic diameter of a gas, not the molecular mass. Then these small gases, they will go to the pressureless side outside the fiber, to the permeate side. So in principle for air gases, this means oxygen and water vapor. And then on the other hand of the module, there you have the nitrogen because it's a bigger molecule. It stays in the fiber and stays under pressure. And that we can then use for an inerty process in principle. Of course, we have these modules available in all kinds of sizes, two inch, four inch, six inch, eight inch. So depending on the application you use it, of course, we vary the size. And by this uh, can vary also the footprint of the application. Now, in general, when you when you think uh, what is the success of this uh, process, then membrane technology is very simple. Huh? It's you don't need any auxiliaries, chemicals or anything. So if you have a pressurized air stream and you have a membrane, you automatically can produce nitrogen or oxygen enriched air. And uh, this simple process makes it that you can uh, use it for a lot for decentralized production. So Everywhere where you just need nitrogen in a small amount or a bigger amount, you just need pressurized air. Or if you don't have it available, you need power and a compressor. And then you can create the oxygen or nitrogen you need there. So often we, we see that membranes are also used for debottling processes. So if you have, for example, a big air separation tower, a cryogenic unit, which is there for your chemistry park, but then you see in, in the peaks, in the peak time that you just don't have enough nitrogen, then you can look at the processes where maybe you don't need such a high purity nitrogen, and there you can make just the nitrogen you need with a membrane process. And by this, you don't need a big investment in another air separation tower. So um, what is also very nice with the membrane technology is that because it is so linear, it's very scalable for you. So if, if you need now, say, 10 cubic meters per hour and you need one, mo one module and 100 cubic meters per hour, then you need 10 modules, for example. So it's, it's, it's very simple to engineer. I would say everybody can build it in his own garage if, if he wants to. Huh? So, um, sorry. Now, when, when, uh, um, when you want to see how such a generator looks like and how much membranes you would need, you can go to our website and there you have a calculation tool. So you can give in the purity you need, the pressure, the temperature, you can select a membrane module and then automatically you see how many membrane modules you would need for your generator. In general, you can say an advantage is of membrane technology that you can tailor the purity to your needs. So you cannot just make one purity, you can make all kinds of purities. And this can be a lot cost saving in your process. So we have our own chemistry park and we had colleagues which before used 99.999% nitrogen just to avoid a powder explosion where in principle your, your lower explosion limit is 7% oxygen. So of course we told them build a nitrogen generator with membranes just creating 95% nitrogen because it, it's good enough and you save a lot of money. So the cost will be one third of, of when you use a high grade nitrogen. And this is the main advantage, I would say, of membrane technology. Now, when you look at Separan, our advantage is that as a chemistry company, we are completely backwards integrated and we make our own polymer. And by this, we do not just take a polymer, make a membrane, use it for all different applications. We make every time a polymer for a different membrane for different applications. So we try always to get the best separation efficiency in each application we serve by changing the polymer chemistry in the background. 
And in Sepharan, this leads to two kinds of membranes. One membrane which works with a very high capacity, so you have a low footprint of a nitrogen generator with a reasonable power consumption. Or we have also a very selective polymer, which means you need a very low power consumption to produce your nitrogen, but then you need a higher footprint, so you need more membrane modules. But also a mixture of both can be, can be taken into account. So we can tailor really the nitrogen application to your needs.